Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV. Thanks for tuning in again today. Today we're outside, we're looking at some, some uh, new Cimarron's out here, but we wanted to just reach out to everybody for bringing these videos to you daily, live here on Facebook, bringing the inventory to you. Hope everybody's staying safe, everybody's staying healthy, keeping our social distancing. We're doing the same here. If you wanna come look at some inventory, definitely give us a call. We've got a lot of new Cimarron trailers and Logan Coach trailers available. A very, very wide variety. We'd be happy to visit with you about what you're looking for, make our suggestions, let you know what we have either here on hand or on order. We also have a wide selection of used trailers that are available. So definitely give us a call. Jump on our website, transwest.com. If you want to come see us, we'd love to set up an appointment with you. All the trailers have been cleaned. We want to visit about what you're looking for specifically and get them set in a designated area for you. If you're wondering where we're at, so a lot of people are familiar with where the National Western Stock Show facility is. If traffic is moving, you can be from that facility to our facility just north about 25 minutes is all it takes. So definitely get in touch with us. But today we're going to visit with you with about a trailer that I'm very excited about. And this is a 2020 Cimarron Lone Star stock trailer with the comfort package. And what Cimarron has done is, is they've gone in and this isn't a full blown living quarters, but there's some amenities in this trailer that is great for a weekend warrior, or if you're wanting to run up to the mountains or a, a afternoon show or event, something like that. This has got some nice amenities in this trailer and what they've done in the living quarters. They're in house at Cimarron, so this doesn't go to a, a conversion company by any means, but they do all this in house. We put it on a 24 foot stock combo is what we did this one on. But I'll talk to you about some different tack setups and then different things we can do on the trailer and customize this trailer for you. So let's take a peek at this trailer. So what it is, it's a seven foot short wall. Access door on this one is on driver's side. We can flip this if we'd like. We can put this door on passenger side. This is that step we talk a lot about. That's an add-on, but we absolutely love that step. We incorporated on a lot of inventory trailers here. So as we take a peek, You'll notice that this trailer has a sofa and then you'll notice all the carpeting on the wall. But what Cimarron has done is they've gone in and lined and insulated this entire trailer. Back here at this cubby that, that Cherish is kind of panning on, we can do a couple different setups. We opted on this trailer to go ahead and put two shelves with a clothes bar underneath this bottom shelf. If you want a cabinet that's completely sealed off, that's an option as well. If you want to delete these completely out of here and put a pass-through door from this front area to the stall area, that can be done as well. You'll notice this little wall right here. We'll get outside and we'll walk around the rest of the trailer and we'll end up at the tack room, but that's the back side of that closet tack. This couch will fold down into a bed. Very, very simple. It's the jackknife style that folds down. So you have another sleeping area in this trailer. Underneath the couch, it's sealed off. And again, we'll get to the back side and we'll show you some different options and, and what we've done to this trailer. Again, fully lined and insulated on the inside. You have Cimarron standard insulated roof. The other thing is we went in, we put a 30 amp breaker on this trailer. So we put power to it. And the main reason why is if we look up on the ceiling, we put an air conditioner in this trailer. Again, not a full blown living quarters, but a nice setup to where if you are spending the night in here, you know, you can throw a mattress up here on the gooseneck deck wall. You've got plenty of windows in here. You can run that air conditioner 
whether it's a portable generator if you have access to power and it'll keep this area really nice and cool and with that line and insulate package on here you can look at like a little heater that you can put in here um, but again a really nice little setup in 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 this front tack room a couple other things we did is you do have you do have a, a power outlet up in the gooseneck then we also put one down over here by these these shelves our thought was if you want to take like a little mini fridge something like that you can put that in that back area and plug that in and have that power to run you do have a boot box there for some additional storage and it's really nice to be able to hop on top of this and then hop up into your gooseneck We went ahead and put one of the load lights kind of between the, the stock area on this trailer and then this door so you have some coverage right out here. The other thing we did was we added some plugs right outside this door. And again, our thought process was if you want to take a little, you know, electric grill like a George Foreman or something like that, you know, you can plug that in right here, do some cooking outside, but a nice little area to kind of hang out outside here. Escape door going in all area. One thing we haven't touched on on the Cimarron's is their fender here. This is bolt-on, this is not a weld-on. So if for some reason you do have a blowout and it does some damage to this or you run something over and it kicks up and does, does some damage to this fender, this is bolt-on. You know, it's, it's a lot easier to replace, a lot more cost-effective. You know, our shop can replace this a lot quicker than a, than a weld-on because on the weld-ons, you got to cut them out. You got to get the new fender, put it on and weld it to where there's bolt-on and then silicone along the edges. That makes it go a lot quicker. This trailer is 610 wide. That's why you'll notice a little bit more running board out here. Again, this trailer with that front setup can be completely customizable. So if you wanted to go with a 7.6 setup or even an 8 foot wide setup, that can be done. This trailer is 7'1 tall. That's the standard height. With it being a stock trailer, we've talked again about having this track that's standard on all their, all their stock trailers. That's, that's built in. You can see these little cutouts right here. That is for your plexiglass. So if you want to add plexiglass to this trailer to, to seal it up, you can. And what Cimarron does is, on the main part, is if you go from the middle of this to the front part, that's four foot. That's how it is on all their trailers. And then from there back, that can vary. But we always know that this front piece is going to be four feet. And then you want them kind of broke down in a couple pieces. We don't want one really long piece trying to remove, put back in, and also store. So you can kind of get them. We really don't like to go over four feet. That's how Cimarron builds their, their plexiglass trays for storage if we had ordered it this way and, and added that option on there. But that is the one nice thing is this trailer wasn't ordered that way, but we can add it. That is definitely an add-on that we can do. We upgraded these tires on this trailer to G-rated. So standard 10-ply, this one here is 14-ply. We don't like to skimp on tires. If we're custom ordering a trailer, that is one thing. We, we talked about custom ordering a trailer the other day, but one thing I like to do with my customers is go through and say, okay, if you're going to build a trailer, I like to look at possibly upgrading your tires. Um, sometimes other manufacturers will take a look at it and say, you know what, okay, we're going to build this trailer similar to this, but we're going to start cutting corners and cutting some costs. And you'll notice a lot of them will go with uh, a lighter weight tire. But on this one, we opted for the G-rated 14 ply. That is, a, that is a good amount of tire underneath this trailer as it sits. Those are also 7,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles. And then with your Cimarron's, new ones, you get your aluminum wheels. You'll see a green tab, nitrogen filled. We've talked about that quite a bit. And these are also balanced tires. So they're nitrogen filled and balanced from Cimarron. As we work to the back of the trailer, we opted for a rear gate with a slider. If you want this gate solid, if you want to fill in the air gaps, 
All that is completely customizable, or you can fill them in with the plexiglass, that's an option too. This one here's a swing, and again with that slider. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut it, and then we'll kinda go through the, the slider gate. The wind's kinda picked up here a little bit. So in this stall area, there's a couple things we've done. We put your nice OptiBright LED lights in here, upgraded over just the standard LED. The other thing is we added this kick mat on the hip wall. That's a really nice feature. It's double wall. That way if we do get some, some you know, really hard kicks, it's not going to show from the outside. Cimarron's extrusion is, is extremely stout, so we're comfortable with that, but we know how some horses are. They're, they're pretty rough on things. But that's definitely a nice upgrade we did on this trailer here, and we just did it on the, on the hip wall. Then in here is your center gate that's on a slam. Now, Cherish, I'll actually have you hop in here because I want to show you one thing we did. Looking at this front stall area, from that partition wall to this gate that matches its, its slant, it's six foot six. The reason why six foot six is our normal horse trailer's standard stall width is 39 inches. So that right there is basically two standard stalls right there in that six foot six. That's why we like to do that size. Now, if you wanna build a trailer and, and do some different things as far as the gate setup, or you wanna have one of these built stock sides with dividers, that can be done. If you wanna kinda of straighten out the, the wall up there and don't do it on the slant, you know, then it opens up your opportunity to add a traveling gate that you can manipulate stall sizes in here. But we'll kind of talk a little bit more about some other things we can do. This is a cool feature. Instead of just tie rings or just tying around the post. So if you put plexiglass in here, you can't tie around the post because you can't get your lead ropes around these and tie things. But we'll do this, this tie rail the entire length. This way you can have something to tie to even if you have the plexiglass in here. But the nice thing about that is you can tie multiple places about anywhere you want. And if you want this set at a certain height above the floor, this one we opted between the two air gaps, but we can set this if we're building a trailer. If you want a second one added low, we can do that. But again, customizing your Cimarron, that is a great thing that, that we can do with them. Make it how you want it to. So now we'll kind of work around to the, the other side of the trailer here. And I'll show you this tack room. Before I do that, on the exterior, we did the tie rings. If you want that, that tie rail that we saw on the inside, we can do that as well out here. Again, we can kind of set that to a certain height that you would like, but then it's a nice tie rail to where you can, instead of just three tie rings on this side, I mean, you could tie four, five, six horses if everybody gets along on those tie rails on the side of the trailer. This one here has that closet tack. I know we've showed you quite a few trailers with that, but again, this is a different and unique setup with that comfort package. Again, this is completely sealed off. You're not smelling any tack in that front somewhat LQ up front there. But what we did was we put a roof in up top. So if you want to air, you know, air this area out, you can. There's plenty of hooks. Four tier saddle rack, that can be adjusted. Corner water tank. You got your blanket bars on the door and a brush tray on the door. So on this setup, this comfort package setup, we can do a couple different things. We can do this closet tack setup. We can do you a full width mid tack on this. We can do a pie tack setup, about anything you want. Now, we'll have to look at how it, it, 
it sets up from the comfort package itself. Again, we talked about possibly flipping the door over from driver's side here to passenger side. We can do that. It'll change the layout in there a little bit, but you know we'll work with you on that. But there's a lot of different tack setups we can do on these. I showed you that couch inside, and I told you we'd kind of talk about this, that out here. This is a little different that we've done here. And I apologize, I don't have my keys and that's locked, so I can't show you that. This is live, so we're just gonna go with it. This guy here folds up and it's basically storage. It's almost like a, a little manger underneath that, that sofa to tuck some things underneath there. But, this here, you don't have to have this. If you just want access underneath, oh, oh look at that. Keys. Let's see if this guy's been reset here and we can get it open. Nope. Doesn't want to open. Doesn't want to open. I don't have the right master key. So anyway, underneath that, that couch there, we can kind of keep that open up to where you can access it from the inside or something like this where that door flips up and you got an exterior um, storage. This trailer here, I talked about we can completely customize. I talked about the extra width, the extra height, but if you want this trailer in a standard slant load, three horse, four horse, five horse, six horse, or you want to do the stocks with dividers or a completely different setup with a traveling gate, um, it can be done on this trailer. That's the beauty about having everything up there in that comfort package that Cimarron calls it, is that is all in-house. So from there back, we can do whatever you want on the trailer. Again, we're really excited about this. Definitely give us a call if this trailer works for you or if you wanna talk about potentially ordering something in. A little bit different setup extra wide, extra tall, or in a slant load, we can take a look at that. So um, we appreciate you tuning in. Again, hopefully everybody's staying safe, staying healthy, keeping our distance. But if you wanna give me a call about this trailer or anything else on the lot, give me a shout. My cell phone's 970-391-0337. Cherish will add that down below. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.